the first question I ask any band that I interview is, how is everything going in life? In life in general. Yeah. Well, I think it's, everything is going well. Yeah, in terms of personal life and professional life. Yeah, we're doing great. Yep, doing great. Um, in terms of our uh, music, Man. our our, <laughs> ba- um, um, our career as an artist, it's going so, uh, smoothly yeah. as well. So. We hit a few bumps along the way, but yeah, we're, we're getting we're there. Good, but... Well, that's everything awesome. smooth sailing. Yep. Yeah. So, if you don't mind, just taking a little time to kind of introducing yourself and just kind of share like a little fun fact about you. That way, the viewers can get to know you. Well, I go first. Uh, I am. Go ahead. Sorry. Yes. Okay. I am Troy. I am the singer, songwriter, and the guitarist of our band. Outside music, I am an architect. So that's my day job. And anything else, Anthony? <laughs> What's more about interesting you? about anything else me? about you? <laughs> <laughs> I love food. I love yes. <laughs> American food. <laughs> yeah. Same here. Uh, you can tell by my cheeks, you know. <laughs> so, by the way, my name is Anthony. Anthony, I am the drummer, the the backing vocals as well. Um, uh, we have a or uh, outside of uh, being a musician, I am a, an implementation manager for a, a software company so and i work during the night so i i'm in the night shift for for almost 15 years oh, wow. um yeah so <laughs> that's why i told you 11 p.m is still early for me yeah so no we're, we're good no worries <laughs> makes sense Work, now. <laughs> yeah working like bruce wayne <laughs> yeah <laughs> during the night <laughs> So I have to ask, what was kind of the inspiration to get the band started? How did everything kind of come about? Okay, uh, well, it was 2017 that, that I had the idea to pursue a solo career as a yeah, as a solo artist, because at the time I I felt that my previous band. Uh, that was active active for 12 years yeah from 2005 to 2017 wow yeah i i felt that it was nearing its end mm-hmm. <laughs> so i, I was pre- preparing myself to pursue something and i think that's the natural course of things so yeah i plan to go solo and it was finalized the moment I released my first single on all digital streaming platforms, year 2018. And I also realized that I need a real a, a backing band to help me out during my live gigs. So I formed uh, a six-piece band at the time. So that was the start of The Thinkers. So it was like Troy Alcala and the Thinkers playing my old songs and new solo songs. Mm-hmm. And then the pandemic happened. All uh, plan, all plans were halted. Everything stopped. And that was also the time that I got bored and I had the idea again to why not make the Thinkers a real band, not just a backup band, mm-hmm. but a band with a new set of songs, new set of image, uh, a new set of brand. And then we set a meeting and they all agreed. So yeah, that was the start, uh, 2022. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And- <laughs> And a little bit different question for you, Anthony. How did you huh. end up joining the lineup? <laughs> they had no choice, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So um, Troy and I originally met in 2014, although we uh, we had a long 
um, history of playing in in other bands or in other groups. Um, we had this uh, company event event in 2014. Um, their then manager, uh, Troy's wife, Access, our, our current manager, um, held a, a, an event in the in the, in the uh, for the company. So it was a a band fest, and that's the first time my my, my former band met. Choice band back then. Yeah. Um, after that, uh, they found an interest in me. I think. Troy, would yeah. you like to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I watched. Uh, <laughs> I watched him perform, and to be honest, I I told. Yeah, it, it was love him, at first sight. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I fell in love the moment I saw him play. <laughs> yeah. No. No. I'm not. I'm not kidding. Uh, I was. Uh, behind the drop, not literally behind the drop, kit, but behind the stage, I was watching him perform, and I think, mm -hmm. and I thought, this this guy was this guy is really good, and he was kind of close to my wife, slash the manager of my previous band in our band right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and then. Every time our drummer at the time wasn't able to perform, uh, we invited Anthony to be our session drummer. Yep. So at the time mm -hmm. that that I had the idea to form a new band, he was the first uh candidate. Mm -hmm. Also the second. Ah, I I, I mean the second. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. the second one. So you had uh, no choice. <laughs> no, I asked some somebody else time because I, I wanted to ask Anthony, but I I was kind of shy. Yeah, because I think he was too busy at work. Oh. So when the drummer, the first drummer that I asked to be That's the first the, time I've I've heard of that story. I honestly. told you this one before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, the the that drummer didn't did not show up, so I think oh maybe it's this no. is the sign that I should. I think ask that's destiny. Yeah, instead. yeah. <laughs> and because that guy is, is uh, closer history. to my house. Mm -hmm. Oh, makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, but deep inside, I want Anthony. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is pretty much history. So yeah, uh, I was well technically first in line when. <laughs> He formed the the thinkers then um we, originally the thinkers was a, a six piece band right Troy yeah or, we or were six because six I was us, planning yeah, to originally. yeah yeah to form a big band sound like Noel Gallagher and the High Flying Birds just like that mm -hmm. you know, six to nine members and we end up a duo <laughs> yeah so, can you me being it? a foodie, I ate the rest of the members, so that's <laughs> why. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, if you ever want to hear that he is in love with you or how awesome you are, just tell him forgot the story and he'll tell you again. Yeah. Yeah. C can I have a copy of this recording? I I'm just gonna <laughs> it's gonna be online, so you can right. rewatch oh, it as many times yeah. if you want. <laughs> So how do you both feel about the current lineup? I know there's been a little bit of changes and you also mentioned that you wanted to make it like a bigger band as well. Mm, um, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Troy. Uh, well, at first I was worried to be in a band with fewer members. That's why at first I, I planned to make it a big band. But eventually we became a duo. And in reality, it became easier and I think hard, uh, not harder. I mean, the sound, it's, mm -hmm. I think it's stronger because just the two of us, we just have to make the most out of it. Mm -hmm. So I just need to play the guitar louder and Anthony have to has to play the drums louder and you know groovier i think mm -hmm. so it's just you know it just fall into its proper places i think how do you feel about it anthony um honestly i'm 
I'm just uh I'm not comfortable, I'm gonna be honest. I'm just kidding, Troy. <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> me, really hard me too. Honestly, me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm going to agree. Uh, to have to agree with uh, Troy. Um, I mean, in terms of uh, c- composition, it's less complicated being uh, a duo. Although there will definitely be um cons as well. I mean, in terms of yeah, the um, we call that the the song. Uh, I mean. The experimentation, because you know you, you can experiment more if if you have more instruments, right? right. Yeah. But being in a duo, well, although we can do that definitely uh, in, uh, studio in studio sessions, yeah, re- recording sessions. But during live performances, because we're planning, of course, of uh, I'm having a session basis at at least. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. One of the cons of of being in a duo would be, of course, the the. Uh, the sound would be a bit thin, right? Mm-hmm. If there's uh, if, uh, less than yeah four members in the band playing live, yeah. but of course, um, again during um recording sessions or studio sessions, definitely will make the most out of it. Will of course um um hire at least uh sessionists, yeah. a bass mm-hmm. player, or a keyboardist, and yeah. additional guitarist. I think. Or maybe a full set of orchestra. But we think cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can afford it, why not? So yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a great plan. It sounds like you guys have some awesome ideas for where you want the sound to go. And um I have to ask though, can you tell us a little about your single Let's Go? Okay, Let's Go is a song that deals with Stoic with the stoic principle of you know ac- accept whatever your fate is and just you just have to move forward no matter what mm-hmm. so that's basically the message of the song and let's go is not wasn't the original title of the song actually Anthony gave the title let's go to that song by by and, accident <laughs> yeah yeah. And like what was the original the title? title? Yeah. <laughs> how? How how did it go? Yeah, uh, sorry, during... what was your question, Alex? Oh, I was just saying it sounds like there's a story if you accidentally renamed the song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um we've ac- I've accidentally uh, accidentally renamed it by mistake. So when we recorded the song uh during our one of our studio Demo, sessions. Yeah. Yeah, one of our demo uh when we recorded the demo. Mm-hmm. Um uh I shouted let's go before we start, <laughs> before we started. <laughs> and Troy uh actually yeah. liked it. <laughs> I said it, it, why don't we use it instead? Yeah, it felt like it has more kick. Yeah, yeah. It's simple and catchy and yeah, I think it fits the song. Yep. And yeah. the original t- Original title of the song is My Resolution. It's Oh, yeah. that's actually better. Okay, can we change it? <laughs> can we revert to the original? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Because it's a New Year's resolution. I wrote it January of 2023, I guess. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a, well, almost a year ago. That's yeah, pretty yeah. cool. I like how it came. It, was named something else and then accidentally like, no, let's rename it. And now you want to rename it back. So that's a good <laughs> good story for a song. <laughs> yeah. So can you describe what kind of genre you would describe your music as? Like, so fans know, like, I think everyone should check it out. I listened to Let's Go. I really liked it. I think it's really catchy. Thank you. Well, we um, want to describe our music straight rock. Just as long as we are in the spectrum of rock music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But, but we're definitely trying to give out 90s rock vibes. That's mm-hmm. our actually goal. Yeah. Yeah. I might be biased, but the 90s were the best to grow up in. So definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Actually, it's not new, but these days it's refreshing. 
Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Get some nostalgia in there. Get back Exactly. to good, Exactly. good stuff. 80s were good too. Don't get me wrong. In 70s too. But Yeah. you like what you grow up in. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's the music scene like in the Philippines? It's actually robust. Um, there, especially the indie scene, the underground, uh, the underground scene, music scene. Um, uh, uh, people nowadays uh prefer going uh independent. Um, yep, in the Philippines especially. Um, uh, and of course, um, uh, a lot of productions after the pandemic, right after the lockdown, after the quarantine. A lot of productions emerged and were revived, and um, we had this thing we, uh, like a, a we call that uh, rebirth, a rebirth of the music scene in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah everyone's excited to go out. Everyone's excited. Um, gigs were everywhere. Um, yeah, even during the weekdays. Uh, because. Prior to the pandemic, most of the gigs, especially for for underground uh, bands, were were held usually during the weekend. So now, after the pandemic, uh, after what they call the, the rebirth of the indie scene, indie scene in the Philippines, um, pretty much almost every day there were gigs. We've even had the pleasure of playing during the weekdays. Wow, Yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. And do you have anything to add to that, Troy? Um, what else? <laughs> I, I mean, music is, um, well, what I want to say is Filipinos love music, so it's not uncommon here to, you know, to form a band, Mm -hmm. to watch gigs, you know, just like what I've said, everyone's excited to go out. And there are lots of new bands as well. Mm -hmm. So it gives a very healthy competition in the scene. And mostly it's independent bands, independent artists. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's yeah, very diverse. And, and yeah, I, I think that's the best way to describe it, diverse and active. very active Mm -hmm. shall we tell them about our upcoming uh, events <laughs> right now we're we're busy planning our next move we're mm -hmm. planning to record a couple of songs by the end of the year yep yes and I hope, hopefully hopefully next year we're going to release an album because next year is gonna be our third year so i think it's just makes sense to release the full package of our music mm -hmm. you know at least eight nine or ten songs all originals that's so yeah that's the that's the big plan for that and how and do to you yeah no, to, to play around you know to play around The globe. Metro, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how are you both feeling about this? I guess future plans. Are you excited? A little nervous? Both, actually, both. Yeah. Uh, excited Scary. and nervous. Yeah. <laughs> nervous at the same time. Nervous for our pockets. So, you know, everything. <laughs> These are actually, we're, we're recording everything in analog, so you know how expensive analog yeah. recording is. So that's why. <laughs> we, But we recorded of course, on tape. But of course, yeah, definitely, we're we're pretty much excited. We we're, we're really looking forward into to releasing an album, and at least a, a music video for for yeah. any of our songs. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's the original plan. Well, that's awesome. That sounds like you guys have like a you know a plan to go forward. And before that album releases, make sure to let me know because I also do interviews. To promote albums too. So, Aw, thank you. Yeah, we'll look forward <laughs> to that. thanks in advance. Yeah, Yeah. no problem. So, with, I know you said like you wanted to, you know, do an album and then also do a music video. Do you have any other goals as a band? Hmm. Well, the main goal is to 
to be heard internationally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like we're getting uh, there, but yeah, we're 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 aiming um long term goal definitely would be to um at least uh, to have a world tour play around the globe. Yeah. So that, that's one of our ultimate goal. It's a long shot, you know, but a long know, shot. We're going but, to but, yeah, but but make not impossible. everything that yeah that will make it happen. We'll make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yeah. you know, when you do explode, just remember me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> sure. Of course, definitely. Yes. So this is just kind of a question, a fun question. But if you could tour with any band, dead or alive, who would it be that you think would match with your sound? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's a hard one because we have so many bands in, in mind right now yeah but if i would like to go first i, I want to of course play with uh, either oasis or the smashing pumpkins those are yeah. good <laughs> those bands are quite huge yeah yeah here in yeah. the philippines as well mm -hmm. well for me um recently i've been listening to the white stripes and the black mm -hmm. keys yeah because of the duo thing right so i so i need to learn more about uh bands with just two members how they execute their music live and on or inside the studio stuff mm -hmm. like that yeah yeah for now yeah white stripes and the black keys yeah, like you said, it can definitely be more challenging with two people just because you don't have all that extra instruments. But then at the same time, you don't have all those extra people to worry about, too. So you don't have to go into a boxing ring and figure out, you know, whose idea wins. So there is <laughs> also that. Just the two of us. <laughs> How do you think that's going to affect your sound with just the two of you going further, like in the future? Well... We're definitely planning to hire other musicians during live performances. Mm -hmm. uh, extra guitarist, a bass player, a keyboardist, um, a percussionist. I think that's one of the good things for being in a band with only two members. We have mm -hmm. the freedom to choose to hire this set of session musicians we also have the freedom to decide if we're just gonna play with me and anthony you know we can do everything whatever we want because you know we are a rap band <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but, but one thing i have noticed um um because remember originally we had more members right and um the gist is whenever toy composes is a new song um, we always try to um, combine our our our, our, our own Ideas. interpretation. Yep, mm -hmm. we we combine all of our interpretation. So one cons would be there, there's just two of us. Um, originally, um, there, um, whomever is, gets to play the instrument, it, it gets a say in what they would like to add to the song. Mm -hmm. So that's one one thing that act or oh, one change that pretty much um in a small way affected uh mm -hmm. our ability to to compose new to compose new songs mm -hmm. but not totally uh i mean not totally bad a, not totally a roadblock for for composing yeah. new, uh great songs so mm -hmm. it's just so... A, a little bit of a downgrade yeah, downgrade in a way that we just keep it simple and short. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't complicate things. Yeah, just like before, you know. Because before we we have a violin player. Oh wow! So you have to, you know, you have to make a space for that kind of sound. You know, mm -hmm. for the violinist to flourish in the song right but yeah but with fewer members we we don't have to overthink everything 
Right. Unless the song uh, requires it. Requires it. it. Yeah. Yeah. But if the song doesn't require require anything complicated, then we'll we'll just go ahead with the best idea, simplest yeah. idea. Yeah. Always the best idea wins. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Of course. So how can people keep up with the thinkers if they want to see what you guys are up to and keep, you know, updated on the latest news? Uh, they can always uh, catch our, our, our posts on our social media uh, platforms. We have uh, one on Instagram. It's the Thinkers Sound with one S. On Facebook, we have the, the Thinkers. And on YouTube, we, we also have uh, the Thinkers Sound. And of course, on, on Spotify, we have the Thinkers. Um, we also have a TikTok account. Um, you get, you'll get to see Troy perform and dance. On TikTok, what? if you want to see that, yeah, that's a promise. I know that's yeah. right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I know it. No, I, yeah, we, we the do dancer, of... not me. <laughs> yeah, we, we this, is not, a, this is not a joke. Anthony can dance. Anthony is a dancer. Uh, yeah. I, I think I was. He can always keep the groove. I, I think I was born to per perform on stage. I... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, Anthony is always confident. That's awesome. Because I, I, I am the introvert. I am the introvert one, so I, I'm <laughs> always nervous prior, during, and even after the performance. After yeah. the work, after the performance, I, I still feel nervous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's why I always so... need the mic whenever we perform live. I always need the mic so that I can fill in the, the dead air, the gap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. It sounds like you guys work really well together. Yeah, yeah. That's the dynamic between the two of us. An extrovert and an introvert yeah. in a rock band. <laughs> so <laughs> I do cool. have um, one last question here for you both. Is this is kind of like the time for you to, you know, say what you want to your current fans and anyone interested in checking you guys out? Well, first of all, thank you, Alex, for having us to your show. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And we also uh, we also wanted to thank uh, Axis, our manager, and the rest of the team, because we have a team working They're with us. Charge. Yeah, mm -hmm. our entourage during the gigs, uh, marketing, branding, the, when it comes to selling the mer merchandises, everything. So we just want to thank them. And for the fans, just watch out for the new releases. Yeah, you can check us out on Spotify, Instagram, Facebook. So one thing is for sure, we're, we're going. We're we're going to be, uh, we're, we're you can still, do it, Troy. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking a lot of, <laughs> having a lot of thoughts in my head. Now, one thing is for sure, we're just going to move forward as a band. Yeah, move forward, of course, of course. Yeah, and speaking of fans, here's a, a little fun fact. So, being the thinkers, um, we call our female female fans the thinker bells. And for the male fans, we call them the Peter fans. You know, just <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a little so bit cute. of fun fact. Yeah. <laughs> kind of weedy, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, um, yeah. So do catch us. Uh oh, oh, sorry. Almost forgot. Yes, we would like to thank you, Alex. Thank you so much for having us here for the, the this interview and uh, for promoting uh the thinkers. Um so if you wanna catch us uh, for the filipino for our filipino fans the thinker bells and the peter fans, peter fans. <laughs> uh yeah uh watch out for our our gigs uh scheduled uh events and gigs uh, on our facebook page and instagram again that's the thinkers on and facebook and on instagram it's the thinker sound with one s um yes i would like to also thank our our our, our spouses our our partners um the whole the thinkers entourage and our manager access um so yeah hopefully we get to be interviewed for the... our uh, uh album 
release in the future. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Thank and you, Alex. Looking forward to visit the United States. Yeah. To perform. Well, that's yeah. awesome. And for anyone who's interested, I will put in, be putting those links in the video so you can click on it and find them without having to search for it. So it makes it a lot easier. And again, thank you both so much for taking the time for doing this interview and for your patience and kindness. And everyone should definitely check out the single over on this side. It's called Let's Go. It might be renamed by the time this video comes out. But, for it, <laughs> <laughs> but thank you yeah. both very much. Yeah, Thank, thank you, you as well. well it's Alex. a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, pleasure. Um, can we have our picture taken? Uh, so we'll have our own souvenir for. for yeah, this feel free to. Yeah, I'll... try. Are you going to do the screenshot? Uh, you can do it also. All right, sure, sure. Uh, all right, I'll count. Uh, one, two, three. Smile. All right. What's that? Yep. Axis said, uh, thank you. Oh, no problem. It was my pleasure. <laughs> this was fun. I'm glad I got to interview you guys. But yeah, I'll um, tag you and stuff on Instagram when I get the video up. So Awesome. Thank you so much, Alex. Thank, thank you, you. And have a nice day ahead. Yeah, have, have a nice day. day. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend. Yeah. You too. Take care. Bye.